guys, this is Charlie again. So in this video, I will continue my journey in Guizhou, and the next stop of us is the Chejiang Sanbao Dongzhan. Well, the reason I I talked about this place is very complicated. Well, eleven years ago, when I first came to this place, it just gave me a very like touching impression. When we first arrived, the villagers was actually celebrating the construction of a new house. Well, you know, the celebration of Dong people is not like maybe the Han people do or what the Western people do. The Dong people just usually sit together with a long, long table and having hundreds of dishes on that table. And the constructor of the house would invite all of the villagers to come over and eat free meals with them. I was deeply touched by the hospitality of the Dong people and that moving circumstances that it created. The things were so natural. Kids were just running around, while some of them were chasing some geese across the bridge. On the other side of the bridge, a dog appeared. Glancing from the window of their kitchen, that was the most precious memory that I gained from that journey 11 years ago. Therefore, I had great expectations of that place 11 years later when I just go there again. However, I think it really depressed me. There were no single villager on the streets, leaving only emptiness and loneliness for me. The material of the houses has been replaced with stones and cements, and with the noise of the jigsaw just annoyed me really much. I went on the bridge. Well, there were no geese or ducks, neither some kids running around. Surprisingly, the house and the kitchen that the dog once glanced upon has disappeared. Seeing these circumstances. I really want to find some traces of that past village in my heart. And at that time, I was suddenly reminded by a picture in my phone. It is a photo that I took 11 years ago, in which a little girl just smiled towards the camera, and well, accompanied by her mother and father. Suddenly, a brave idea came to my mind. Would I be able to find that girl again after these eleven years? After several attempts of asking old villagers, I actually did find the home of that girl. When the door opened, I was totally surprised. A thirteen-year-old girl with yellow T-shirts and blue pants opened the door. At the first moment, I didn't recognize her face. However, when she smiled, I knew that the girl in the picture is standing right in front of me. After I stated my purpose, she excitedly welcomed me. We had a little chat, me, her, and her mother. Well, in that little chat, she talks about the current circumstances of this village. That most of the villagers now are just some old people, kids, or women. All of the youngsters and the men are just working outside. They aim to earn more wages so that they could improve the environment of their past village. However, the girl stated that she is kind of controversy. That although the economic strength of them has been developed, some of the traditions of Dong ethnic has been lost. Although they will still have dinner together when a new house is constructed. Traditional Dong course is only maybe performed as an interest club in class. This, again, is an issue of the balance between the economic strength and the preservation of culture. However, I think Chejiang Sanbao Dong Village actually do a better job than the Xijiang Qianhu Miao Village. That's because they are not so commercialized, and the citizens within this village are still of Dong ethnic. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. And in the next video, I'll guide you through the famous Da Li Dong Village, which is more original and rich in culture. If you like my video, please subscribe to this channel. Thank you and goodbye.